Hello, welcome. This is Sports Tonight. We're broadcasting live from Channels TV Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. It's good to have you join us once again to talk sports. I'm Austin Okonako. And on the show tonight, we'll be finding out what's going on live in the Carabao Cup. Two bar uh, forces in London football, Arsenal and Chelsea. They'll be clashing uh, tonight. We'll be monitoring everything that is going down in that one. I've not so good news coming uh, from Quara United. Yes, the players and officials are where in Lagos for the NNL Super 4, but uh, returning back to Lauren, they were involved in, um, in an accident. Yes, we'll find out uh, how the players and officials are doing, but um, that's not so good because we don't want that as so we await the start of a new season. We'll find out how Atlanta are getting ready for the new season. Uh, despite uh, no preseason games, they are still optimistic. Atlanta, traditional MPFL team, but when they didn't get it right administratively, they were relegated. They are back again and they're saying they are in the MPFL, MP, MPFL not to just compete. They said they won the title. How are you going to do it when you didn't prepare? Ah, okay, let's see. Let's see what they have to give us in that one. Team Nigeria and how they are performing at the, all, um, at the junior tennis qualifiers in Lome, Togo. We'll find out how they're doing. Do we have Nigerian teams, uh, Nigerian players in the final? We'll find out what's going on in that one also when we get to that. And the big news that popped out today from the Nigerian Football Federation is that the Super Eagles of Nigeria will play an international friendly game against the Three Lions of England. When? June the 2nd, 2018. Remember, when we had the president of the Nigerian Football Federation, Amadou Pinnick, uh, he entered on it. He said, look, something big is coming June the 2nd but then he didn't tell us uh, the opponent that the Super Eagles will be going against that opponent is England. So I want football fans to talk to us. You know, we're counting down to the World Cup. I would say it's very, very important uh, that we do everything that is required to perform at the World Cup. And we've been talking to ex-internationals, we're talking to former coaches, we're talking to current players. Yesterday we had former NFF president Kojo Williams in the studio and now the NFF, they've announced England, so they will play England, we will ask questions. Maybe they will announce another one, they will announce Poland, we will ask questions. June the 14th, the World Cup will kick off in Russia. And then, when they follow, not, not forgetting that we we'll also ask questions from the Ministry for Youth and Sports, uh, bonus, allowances, payments. So when we do all of these, and our World Cup don't go well, we will now understand. So that's how I want all of us to, to walk with this journey. It's January now. Remember, we're going towards June. So good news. The Nigerian Football Federation have announced that the Super Eagles will go against England. That's a good one and that we can work with. Also on the show tonight, how the, the home-based Super Eagles getting ready for the 2018 African Nations Championship. As we speak, they are, are playing a warm-up match against Cameroon. That's a good one ahead of their... Opening match against Rwanda. So we'll try to find out uh, what's going on right there in Casablanca. Hopefully, the media officer, Tony Bito, will speak to us. We just want to know how they're going on as they prepare for uh, that big championship right there in Morocco. Also, uh, we'll find out what's going on. Some basketball uh, news uh, around the corner. We will touch base with it. And um, Anthony Joshua, uh, he went on Instagram, guys, and he teased us. He just seen him swimming. Uh, just in case, just go check him out. And he says, big news coming soon. We're still waiting. We know they will soon announce that fight against Joseph Parker. Uh, so when that one is done, we will tell you. And then let's see after Joseph Parker maybe fights one more person. And we know our destination is Deontay Wilder. Yes, those guys, they need to fight. And let all the talks and let's know who is actually the main champion of sports tonight on Channel Steam. I keep telling you that it's an action pack to all the sports. And I want you to be part of everything that we'll be doing tonight on the program. This fun is not a, this uh, show is not the same. When you are not involved, and so I want you to talk to us. On Twitter, our channels on the Sports Facebook channels at Facebook. You can also send an email to Sports Tonight at channelstv.com. What are you talking about? Remember, it's still the new year. Yes, it's still the new year. It's just the 10th of January, but at the year, it's still new. It's still young and so much expectation. So we can still keep that hashtag going. Sports in 2018. The big one, of course, everyone waiting for it is the World Cup uh, in June. But before the World Cup, we're going to have the Commonwealth Games in April. In 
Gold Coast, Australia. So uh, that we should also get us talking. We hear of camps here in Abuja, one in Lagos, one in Port Harcourt. But uh, what sort of preparation is Team Nigeria having towards that uh, global competition? We will talk about it tonight on the program because uh, these are the things we're saying. We're monitoring the Super Eagles from how they qualified uh, to when bonus uh, deal was signed, one after the other. Everything will follow it to make sure that uh, it comes good. And of course, we're counting down to the start of the new MPFL season. And we'll continue that segment that we have called Know Your MPFL Club. Nasara United is our focus tonight on the program. Just to also let you know that all our top stories can be viewed on our website. It's channelstv.com and on YouTube for slash channels web. If you log on to m.channelstv.com, you'll be able to download the Channels TV app for any of those devices uh, that you see there. And um, talk to us. Just log on to m.channelstv.com, download the app. I'm a part of everything that is going down tonight on the program sports tonight on channels television let's welcome joseph because it's joseph good to have you on sports tonight always a pleasure austin and mm. uh, hopefully by sunday the league will start Ooh. but i'm seriously worried about you know no balls around it no preview no reviews nothing you know thanks to channels for for you know this segment you've introduced know your Thank club you too. very fantastic mm. but the fa should understand that uh, there's a lot that goes into the, you know, the league. You have to package it. Because whether you like it or not, you are competing for interest with the Premiership. Hmm. With so many other leagues. Ah, did so you so, go no, too no, far? No, I have to. No, no, no. Maybe the PSL. Not in terms of quality. Okay. You know, with due respect to, to what yeah. we have here. But in terms of attention, I would have, you know, the World Cup is coming up and there's a lot of, you know, production that is going out there and people, you know, balls that is trying to, you know, they are trying to, to raise previews, reviews of the previous season. Yeah. But right now, there is nothing that is going on. We understand they have outsourced it to a, a network, but, but we are not seeing anything. You know, it's almost as if football, they, they really have to get better. We had similar situation with uh, the FA Cup IT at the stage. It was rumored that, you know, they wanted to pull out, pull out and they were not comfortable, you know, with, with the... With